Good morning everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how a typical day in life of a luxury Uber driver looks like. Let me jump in. I am in Chinatown, which is in central London. It is Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning. You might be wondering why I'm waiting here. So generally the jobs I want to do in luxury or executive are Hitro. Hitro is a very easy job from here. It usually takes about an 40 minutes in the morning up to an hour or something and it pays okay when you go heat show there's a chance that you might pick up a job on the way back instead of going somewhere far away and you end up coming back empty i do that as well obviously if it's a good job that pays uh good but generally heat show is one of the je best jobs for me why am i waiting here because here is four or five hotels nearby here which i'm picking up usually one of them is the Soho Hotel which is very close here the other one is Hamyard there's one down in Leicester Square actually two in Leicester Square one is the W Hotel and right underneath that there is the Londoner Hotel so four hotels nearby here and those are the ones that give me usually um, Heathrow jobs most of the time probably American customers booking in uh that's why i'm waiting here today is wednesday it's already 7 35 so let's see how it goes the time is now 9 34 i'm still waiting here haven't got a job he just gave me some small jobs within the city for like very small like a one mile two mile jobs like 15 20 pound but i didn't take them i'm waiting for something bigger but yeah nothing yet if i were to done them i might be thinking i missed a bigger job so that's why i canceled them and hopefully get something bigger to get the day started all right just dropped off in heathrow the bolt yeah rubbish job very low paying but switched on uber obviously they're not gonna give me job because i dropped off with bolt so and the waiting area is about 200 cars i don't know i'm gonna go there use the toilet but i don't think i'm gonna stay because it's pointless so yeah both pay only 46 pound for this job that's like a comfort price on uber almost the boat really dropped down the prices a lot i the only reason i took it because i didn't get any job on uber towards heathrow they just sent me towards canary wolf i didn't want to do that for 30 pound that's why i'm here but yeah it's just probably the worst day ever since i've been doing exec and lux so it's about what's the time now it's 12 o'clock i think yeah almost 12 o'clock i desperately need to go toilet so yeah see you in the waiting area 46 pounds only and it's already half day gone it's 12 o'clock now i'm in the waiting area yeah i don't know why i even came here mostly for the toilet but this goes to show there's no guarantee i mean the other day last week i made 370 380 pound started around seven o'clock morning until 5 30 i was already finished with 380 pound was a good day and now compared to today you see like yeah there's so much up and down and uh unreliability that you might get job and you might not get job so that's the that's the biggest problem with companies like uber or boat and i'm not talking about other companies like uh, black lane or wheelie that i'm not doing at the moment like with uber you're just coming out and you hope that the day is gonna be good and you make some money that's you can't do that you can't do that uh, when you're driving this kind of car and you have so much expenses i mean this is not my car i'm just testing it out but i can imagine a friend of mine he had this car his monthly payment was roughly thousand pound thousand thousand one hundred pound a month and he was paying another six to seven hundred pound on insurance when you put the electricity and stuff is over two thousand pound just to pay the car and the insurance and the stuff so you can imagine the pressure that <laughs> you need to make money right the day is good the day is not good like you gotta pay the bills for the car so i don't see the point getting this kind of car and doing only uber me personal i've been doing it for three weeks now 
And when I was on exec with my old, uh, not old, I mean, <laughs> my Tesla Model S, doing exec and comfort jobs, I was doing pretty much the same money, you know, almost like, almost no difference. Because when I come to Heathrow, I switch on all the platforms like X, Comfort, Green, it doesn't matter. Anything I go, anything I get, I'm just going back. I didn't do that with this car for the reason that it's a luxury car and I was only doing executive and luxury jobs just to see whether or not it's good. Like just doing those jobs. So it seems like from my limited uh, experience with the car, only three weeks, I can compare it to uh, the executive, what I was doing. I'm just gonna put the screenshots there so you, you get to see what it, what it is like. But yeah, as I said, my personal opinion, don't get a car like this if you only gonna do Uber exec and Lux only working for Uber. It's pointless. You cannot rely on it. And you have the very high monthly payment at the end of the month. So you can't rely on Uber to just come out and start working and hoping that you're gonna, you waste your time. Some days is just not in your control. Even other companies like Wheelie or Black Lane, you are still like dependent on the customer demand. So if there is not enough customers and more drivers as of anywhere you go, like a, unless you work for like someone like privately, which you have like guarantee pay, even with those companies, you know, summertime, it could be high season, you have lots of jobs, but then winter, everything just dries out, especially January and stuff. So it's kind of hard, I think. And also, you know, if you work for those companies like Wheelie and Black Lane, the car must not be older than three years, as far as I know. If anyone has worked for them and stuff, please share your thoughts in the comments below. All right, getting out from here. So even switched on X, there's nothing, man. You just gotta wait a long time here. Coming with boat here. Boat never gives you job from pickup area. At least for me, never happened. So at least because if I come with Uber, there's a slight chance that I will get something while I drop off. Basically, let's, let's just get out of here. The difference with Uber compared to Bolt is with Heathrow, when you drop off, you might get job on the way back as soon as you drop off from the terminal. So terminal two and three are the highest chance for you to get a job to return. So you don't need to come here, wait in the queue because you're already there. Uber gives you job, but Uber only does that if you drop off a customer with them. If you go like me with Bolt, you go drop off, you have Uber switched on, you are at the terminal, at the drop off, Uber doesn't give you job because you didn't work for them, you didn't drop off their customer. So uh, you gotta come here in the waiting area and you, you see how it was. I, I'm, I waited in this area multiple times. In the weekends, is absolutely dead. Weekdays, after two or three hours, maybe I get job, maybe exec. But it's a long waiting game. I, I, it's pointless. For Lux and Exec to wait there, it's pointless. Yeah. And you, you wait, and you might waste like half a day there and don't get nothing. And what happens? You, you, you didn't get nothing, and you, again, you're going back empty. Yeah, it's just nonsense. Only once happened, I was very lucky to get a job from there, I just I just came for toilet like I did now. As soon as I enter, there was, I don't know how many cars there were, but there is always 40 to 50 car exec, or at least 30 to 40 car exec. But I was lucky, this was like three, four months ago, to get a pre-booked job from Terminal 3 to Bristol. It was 100 and something miles, it was paying 260 pounds. That was my best job on exec ever. And the lady, 
she wanted to give me additional 100 pound tip on the app but she couldn't do it also there is like a 50 pound limit on the uber app so the customers cannot give you more than 50 pound tip uber some for some reason they limited it to 50 pound which is like uh, i don't know why she was like oh can i give you like two times 50 i was like i don't know try <laughs> but she couldn't do it so yeah it was that was the only time I got exec without waiting at all. But yeah, I guess that's like a very rare. So I just finished my lunch now. It is three o'clock. Still no job. It just gave me one small job. Lux while I was eating 25 pounds on the other side of the river. I didn't take it. That's absolutely dead today. So that goes to show how unpredictable Uber can be. Three o'clock. I'm not gonna wait no more than that. I'm just heading home, there's no point. In conclusion, my advice to you, don't get this kind of car and put yourself in debt if you are just gonna work for Uber. From my experience, it's kind of pointless. I guess I can see now why my friend that had this car already last year, he decided to sell it.